And when you go to google.com, you'll do a search for something, and then you'll search and you'll see a bunch of results. So what a keyword is, is actually that word that you put into the search bar when you go to google.com, so exactly what you're searching for. When you advertise um, via Google AdWords, you create an ad, and then you associate a keyword list with that ad. So which keyword queries do you want to trigger your ad? You really want to think like the user and put yourself in the shoes of somebody who's searching on Google and looking for your product. What might they put in? So let's say you have this, this new product that you have in your store or on your website, and you can think of maybe two or three keywords that you might want to use to associate with your ad, but you're looking for more, for more advice on, on, on really how to build out your keyword list. There's something called the keyword tool. And within that tool, you can actually plug in um, the keywords that you've already thought of and click on a button, and Google will essentially give you keyword ideas based on that original list that you give them. So within that list, you'll be able to see what the volume of a particular keyword looks like um, within a particular geography, and you have the ability to, to choose and add it to your account automatically. The more descriptive you are in your keyword list, um, the more chance that somebody is going to search for your keyword, see your ad, and find it relevant to what they're looking for. A best practice in terms of creating your keywords is, first, um, I would recommend to start starting with a keyword list of about 10 to 15. There's really no need to, to put in any more keywords because if your keywords are relevant enough to the ad, um, they'll do the work for you themselves. It's a best practice when creating a keyword list to include the singular version of a word as well as the plural version of the word because our system treats those as very separate keywords. If your user is looking you know, for exactly your product, they're not going to just put in one word. They'll probably use multiple words to, to search. So it's important to you know, use a keyword list that's, des that's descriptive and relates to your ad specifically. By having a more specific keyword that details your product in more depth, um, you have the ability to attract traffic to your site that is actually more qualified and ultimately helps you see that return on investment at the end of the day.